There's a new cryptocurrency that says they're scalable, but most excitingly enough, you can mine and run a node. We're gonna be digging deep. Kwai Network, Rebuilding Currency, a new financial system. EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine, basically think Ethereum fork. Compatible blockchains that they're boasting can achieve more than 50,000 TPS, that's transactions per second, without compromising their decentralization. To put this into perspective, it's that much faster than Bitcoin, that much faster than Ethereum, Kwai utilizes merge mining of networks. They have a unique algorithm called proof of entropy minima, or more poetically, ha ha ha, poem. They utilize the prog pal mining algorithm for the mining side of things, which I'll talk more about later. But let's talk about the Iron Age testnet, which just began. This is the third of their five planned testnets. Kawhi Network has adjusted their testnet time frame. It will likely run for three months. It's based on blocks in the actual chain as opposed to an arbitrary date. The chain should move at a relatively expected pace, which again means that we have about three months of runway to participate in this incentivized Kawhi Network testnet. They're distributing 12 million Kawhi tokens, 8 million to miners, and 4 million to developers. There's also a lot of testnet tooling. They have a dedicated wallet, which they forked from Tahoe Ethereum wallet, if you're familiar with that. There's a faucet, there's a block explorer, there's Quise, which is a version of Ethers, allowing developers to create applications that interact with their blockchains in a familiar environment. A CLI or command line interface, hardware tool, node stats page, node setup tutorial, and a stratum proxy setup tutorial as well as an ecosystem page they have tutorials on how to do everything on their youtube as well as their documentation site we'll look at their docs here shortly as a heads up you do have to complete kyc in order to redeem these tokens from this on-chain activity and i also genuinely appreciate the quiet network they've supported the voice youtube channel in our content creation. But I really cannot understate how exciting it is to see a new mineable coin launch. This is just not common enough these days. Back when mining was the only choice, well, we saw a lot of coins. And then came the age of tokens, a soulless era, if you ask me. At the time of recording this, and we see a very Etherscan-esque block explorer. Uh, we see 6,000 wallet addresses, over 20,000 transactions, 20,000 blocks. So remember, EVM compatible means that this would probably work in MetaMask eventually. TBD, we will see. Oh, it's not going. Come on! Hey guys, Chavi here, video editor of the channel. So in order to make the faucet work, you will need to have their wallet. You cannot do it on MetaMask. I will link their documentation below on the wallet you can use is also there explained and with that back to us moving on though dominant strategies partners with galaxy to improve the quai network social media rewards program dominant strategies founded by dr k who's basically the face and founder of the quai network as we can see in this video <laughs> and if you're a blockchain protocol engineer or a senior full stack engineer they have in-office or remote opportunities ranging from 115 to 185 thousand dollars a year looking at their galaxy listing and we've talked about galaxy many times before like when we were hunting the linea airdrop among other things we can see a couple campaigns here very simple stuff join the kwai community right well how do we do that yeah i gotta get coin passport obviously who doesn't uh so you can follow them on twitter discord you know you can join all these communities and well all i'll say is they're clearly rewarding people for participation in their test net i don't see why there wouldn't be rewards associated with all of this uh, you can see that on uh, this uh, learn more about Kwai uh, mission in particular you can see that you need to prove you're human 
and then you'll go ahead and go to their website, their documentation, you can check out that video, you can do these other things. Uh, but what's interesting is they only let you claim in order. So you gotta go step by step. Looking at their Twitter, surprising numbers here. 190,000 followers. Big time engagement there as well. It's intriguing, right? I mean, they're incentivizing, or it seems to be incentivized, to follow them on social media, to interact with them. They're very serious about, you know, nodes and miners, developers and deployments, user onboarding, dApp testing in this iron age. They are doing the right thing by distributing their tokens to early participants. It's very cool. How do you run a node anyway? Well, I'll link this out down below because this isn't a full guide in this video but they have a written guide as well as a video guide. So both mediums of consumption there, but we can see we can deploy on Linux, right, Mac. And if you're familiar with this stuff, it looks like a pretty simple, pretty straightforward deployment. But if you've never used command line interface, uh, then I recommend you join the Viascoin Discord server and ask for some help because we have some incredibly technical guys that are always hanging out in there, helping everybody, so why not? You wanna to get to mining, they recommend a Hive OS installation. So I'll link out Hive uh, down in the video description below. And woo, I haven't said that in a while. Uh, but there's the Quai GPU Miner. It's the main implementation of a Quai Network GPU Miner. Uh, and that is available on Hive, pretty easy to do and deploy. My problem is I'm really not sitting on many GPUs for mining these days because GPU mining has just been a fool's game, really. But if there can be some exciting new projects that come out, I could change the GPU mining game once again. Remember, GPU mining has died several times in its history. Ethereum brought it back, but once Ethereum left, ah, GPU mining profitability left with it, leaving a lot of gear that kind of felt like it had nowhere to go. Quad Network has a listing for currencies on CoinMarketCap, but they don't have a publicly traded coin or anything like that yet. So there's really nothing there. It should be noted with an absolute sense of urgency that you gotta get after this because this testnet is not incredibly long. It's not an indefinite thing. All of these will provide unique opportunities, but when they lead phase one with nodes and miners, you should be excited and you should participate unless you don't like gpu mineable coins and earning coins for that maybe 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 that's not your thing i don't know how but maybe it's not it's interesting that they chose a merged mining approach uh, and they referenced the good old satoshi nakamoto i love old bitcoin talk thread references i hate the current day bitcoin talk it's in shambles right if you're looking for a good forum Guess what? I got one. It's called Voscoin Talk, the spiritual successor 2.0 to Bitcoin Talk. It's like Bitcoin Talk, but better. But I'm biased. Community launched it. But here's the deal, right? We talk about merge mining. Here's a coin you probably know about that maybe you don't know is merge mined. Dogecoin and Litecoin are merge mined together. And what makes this really interesting is it used to be all about Litecoin mining and then you got some Doge. And then eventually Doge flipped the script and it's all about Dogecoin mining and you get some Litecoin on the side. That could be something akin to what Kwai does. And in the beginning, like some projects or miners basically implement, implement it and you merge mine. It's like, okay, you're mining this or maybe it's kind of done on the mining pool side. You are mining and you, like, you get some of these coins on the side, whatever. And then if they really go somewhere and take off, that will be what you're really interested in. Looking at the ProgPal mining algorithm, right? We see numerous cryptocurrencies on it. Not many coins of no, but we do see numerous cryptocurrencies. I always thought it was a shame that we never really saw a ProgPal implementation with Ethereum. That's what it was designed for. We all went to war about it. We all went to bad about it. Back then we were all fighting the good fight. Back when we were young, but the bottom line is, it's a cool algorithm. It's an interesting algorithm. And there's also variations of it, which really lend to the unique design and relatively unspoken success of it. For example, enter Ravencoin with Kapow. Good old Bubba J breaks it down. Kapow is more or less ProgPow 
with some extra tidbits. Which makes me wonder on the topic of merge mining, could we either A, merge mine Kapow instead of ProgPow or just as well as ProgPow, given there's a couple projects on Kapow that actually have a pulse like Ravencoin and I talked about Neoxa recently. Maybe they'd consider switching or maybe they could just simply merge mine Kapow and be on the ProgPow mining algorithm. It's early. Things are still very possible. Overall, I think this is super cool, right? A new mineable coin you can earn by participating in their test net. You, people want to always be early. They talk about being early. Oh, it's too late, whatever. Okay, well, it doesn't get much earlier than incentivized test nets. So if you wanted the heads up, if you wanted the alpha, if you wanted the scoop, here it is. What does the future hold for Kawhi Network? I don't know. But like pretty much always, I'm rooting for mineable coin. Scalable mineable blockchain, we've all been waiting for it. Some people think that Caspa is achieving that. And you wanna talk about Caspa's success, it's become one of the most profitable coins to mine, putting out like a million dollars a day, and uh, is getting a lot of notoriety and screen time. Publicity, skyrocketing in market cap. Quad Network, in a way, is aiming to be a more Ethereum-like clone fork, but with that same scalability. But goals, very different than achievements. So I recommend you start achieving by subscribing to the Voscoin YouTube channel, if for no other reason than to hang out with our CAO, that's our Chief Achievement Officer here, Tails Vosk, on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed the content. Hit the thumbs up, share the video with one of your buddies, somebody you know, send them the link, if they ever said mining's dead, send it to them. I'd be like, hey, bloop, there's a pulse. There might be something here. Gotta find some excitement in a bear market, you know? Come on.